Hey, 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 good morning, guys. Good morning. Uh, it is very early in the morning for me here. So I wanted to record a little video before my day gets kind of crazy for you guys. Okay. Uh, anyways, this month is still Black History Month. Remember? Last week we did a little lesson on Harriet Tubman, right? Uh, and we're going to continue this week to do another lesson on another Black American hero, right? And I want to refer to him as an American hero, not just as a Black American hero. Okay, so because he really is an American hero. Um, <clears throat> the person we're going to talk about today kind of changed the face of American sports and uh, broke a lot of barriers for other people to come after him. So uh, maybe you guys have heard of him. His name is Jackie Robinson. Uh, he has a lot of buildings named after him, honor him. There's a Jackie Robinson YMCA uh, that's pretty close to us that is named after him to honor him. So uh, I have a slide presentation to show you. Okay, so let me turn that my screen to present it to you and then we can get on with it. All right, remember we're talking Black History Month. It is February 2021, you guys. We're already in the second month of the year. School is almost over. No, not really, but we're getting there. Be patient. So Jackie Robinson, here's a picture of Jackie Robinson's uh, baseball card. And if you were to happen to have this baseball card, it would be worth a great deal of money. I'm sorry. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Okay. I have here, it says Jackie Robinson, a black hero, right? And then I have the word black crossed out and put American hero, right? Because he was more than just a black black hero. He, he was more than an uh, African-American hero. He was an American hero. And we'll talk about the reasons why he, he qualifies to be an American hero. Okay. So in the United States, sports has always, or for a very long time, has been very, very important, right? It gives us entertainment. It gives us a way to control our boredom sometimes. Uh, and for a lot of people that used to play sports, sport watching sports on TV is kind of a continuation of that life for them, right? I know you, a lot of you guys that are young and want to be out there playing soccer and whatever, um, you guys can still do that, right? But there's a lot of old people like me that used to love play football and can't do it no more. And so we got to watch football on TV, right? Uh, and so sports has been very important and it has created superstars, right? Uh, and it has made some people very, very rich. And uh, it's been, like I say, very important to the history of the United States. So this particular uh, presentation is going to be on professional baseball, okay? This is the sign for the Major League Baseball, right? It's where the San Diego Padres uh, play in, the Los Angeles Dodgers, the New York Yankees. They're all part of that same league, right? That league today is very diverse, meaning it has people from all over the world playing it. It has people from Cuba, Dominican Republic, Mexico, United States, Canada, Europe, uh, every country in, uh, there's players from Japan, there's players from Korea. So there are people from all over the world playing Major League Baseball because they are the best players in baseball uh, and earning a living doing it and entertaining us all. But it wasn't always like that. There was a very long time in Major League Baseball where there were only white players in Major League Baseball and only from the United States until this man, Jackie Robinson, changed all that. Okay. And so that's why we're going to honor him by talking a little bit about him and learning about him. So Jackie Robinson, he was actually born Jack Roosevelt Robinson uh, on January 31st. So his birthday just passed recently, right? Uh, 1919. And 
he was born in Georgia to parents that worked as sharecroppers. So if you don't know what a sharecropper is, is right after the days of slavery, um, a lot of African-American people that were here as slaves didn't really have anything to turn to in order to support themselves. So they ended up working for the same farmers or same plantation owners that were at one point, their slave owners, right? Uh, and they worked so hard as sharecroppers, what they did was they would go out and work the fields all day. And in exchange for them working the fields all day, they would get a little bit of food to eat at night and they'd be able to keep a little bit of the crops, right? So technically they weren't slaves, right? Because they could leave, but because they weren't getting paid much uh, and they had to work very, very hard, uh, it was kind of like an extension of slavery days, right? So it wasn't very fun for anybody at all, unless you were one of the plantation owners or the farmers, right? Uh, so he had parents that were sharecroppers and they had, uh, I think five kids all together. Uh, at one point, the mother was left to raise her children on her own. So she moved to Pasadena, California. Pasadena is just outside Los Angeles, okay? And so Jackie Robinson grew up the majority of his life here in Southern California, beautiful Southern California. He went on to attend a local high school. Uh, it was called John Muir High School where he played basketball, football, baseball, tennis, and ran track. So he played pretty much every sport that he could there, right? He was a naturally gifted athlete and he was good at it. Uh, and because he was so good, he excelled at certain sports, um, football and basketball uh, were his best ones, right? Baseball, he was okay at, but it wasn't even his greatest sport. And then so he was recognized for two years in a row for his athletic ability as the best athlete on campus, also for his academic grades. So not only did he put in work on the on the sports field, right, but he put in work into his grades to make sure that his grades were some of the best on campus. So he was both an athlete and a scholar. Okay. So we got to understand when when Jackie Robinson was growing up, life wasn't easy for him, right? Segregation was life for Jackie Robinson. And I put JR, we're going to just assume that that's Jackie Robinson, okay? And if you guys don't know what segregation means, segregation is a way that the United States used to live where uh, white people were separated or had better access and privileges than people of color. So. Right here, I put a little picture of a sign that says, we serve whites only, no Spanish or Mexicans. Uh, that would include black people also, right? So uh, in a lot of places, there were limits on to where black people or people of color could go to. Like they couldn't go to certain diners or certain restaurants. Uh, they couldn't go to things like, uh, certain events right and it, even if they could go to certain places they had to sit in different places in that restaurant right say uh if you wanted to take your daughter to a restaurant you had to go to the restaurant and maybe go in a side door and sit in an area where you weren't around the white people right uh so segregation was pushed onto people of color and it wasn't a nice time to be uh alive if you were a person of color Okay, they weren't treated as equal people and they were forced to live in poverty and didn't have much hope to make their lives any better. So they didn't have very good access to education. Uh, they didn't have very many opportunities in the business world. They couldn't do a whole lot of entertainment uh, stuff to dream of a day where they could be rich. Uh, so schools were segregated so little white kids went to different schools than little black and brown kids right and restaurants were segregated uh the buses were segregated so all the white people could sit in the front of the bus and black people and brown people had to sit in the back of the bus right this was an ugly part of american history it really wasn't something that uh we could look back and be proud of America today for how people were treated back then. Um, and today, even though things aren't perfect, 
right? I mean, we still got a lot of uh, room to work in and a lot of work to do. Uh, things are better than they were at that point, right? Uh, we just got to keep loving each other, you guys, okay? So here we go. Uh, growing up, he went to high school, right? After high school, he graduated and he ends up going to college. Jackie Robinson goes to college after graduation from high school. Uh, he went on to Pasadena Junior College, okay? Uh, junior college is like a two-year college, okay? It's not a, like a university where uh, he would go for four years, right? Junior, he went to junior college first, and he was a superstar on all of their sports teams. Um, he owned all of the records for football, baseball, basketball, and track at Pasadena Junior College, right? So he was the fastest there the strongest one there he could jump the highest and the farthest um he was just a natural athlete okay he then transferred to ucla which today ucla is probably one of the greatest colleges here uh, in california for sure on the west coast for sure and maybe even in the united states okay they are a top college in a lot of areas okay uh, but he transferred in 1939, and he continued to play all four sports. And he was a star in all of them but baseball. So even though he played baseball, baseball wasn't his best sport. Um, he he was a average baseball player in college, okay? But in basketball and football and track, he was a superstar. All right. So after junior college, right? He goes to, and after uh, UCLA, Jackie Robinson goes to Hawaii, and he gets hired by a Hawaiian football team that is what they call semi-professional, right? They weren't playing in the professional leagues, but he was getting paid money to do it, to play football, okay? He was getting paid $100 to play in each football game, and he played for a team called the Honolulu Bears. Uh, football, at this point, became his best sport and he wanted to be a professional football player but at that point nobody would allow him because at that point football wasn't uh integrated meaning that they still had white only football teams right and black only football teams but uh to the japanese came and they bombed a place called pearl harbor in hawaii right and he got the United States into a war. So this ended his football career in Hawaii. Uh, he became, oh, I'll tell you right now, he had to get drafted into the Army, right? So Jackie Robinson and got drafted into the Army, and drafting means that the United States government sent you a letter to your home saying, uh, can you please report to this base on this day? You are now part of the U.S. Army, even though it might not have been something you wanted to do, right? He had to do it anyway. So he was drafted into the army in 1942. Uh, he wanted to enter into something called an officer school, which was a school for people that had finished college, right? And then after you finished that officer school, you would become an officer. And so you would get a higher rank and you would be in charge of other soldiers uh, and you would get paid a little more, right? The problem is even though at the time it wasn't illegal for black people to enter into officer school. Um, they weren't getting admitted into officer school just because they were black, right? So there wasn't a law against it, but everybody didn't want them there. So they kept them out of there, right? So even though uh, Jackie Robinson had his college education, he qualified to get into the officer school. The army didn't want to let him in. And it took some friends of his one, a boxer by the name of Joe Lewis, Joe Lewis, to speak up for him and call some people that he knew and get jo uh, Jackie Robinson admitted into the officer school. And once he did, he excelled in there, okay? Uh, he was promoted very quickly to lieutenant and uh, he did very well in officer school and came out and joined his service, right? Now, uh, in the army training, Joe, uh, Jackie Robinson hurt his ankle, okay? So he had to be placed on a bus to go back to get his ankle checked out and, and treated at a hospital. The problem was the bus was segregated, right? Meaning that the 
white uh, the white officers on the bus got to sit in the front of the bus and the black officers on the bus got to sit in the back okay now jackie robinson didn't like that he believed that if they're all serving in the army and they're fighting for uh, our country the same way in the same manner that they should all be equal and be able to sit wherever they wanted to on the bus so he was kind of like uh rosa parks at the time right he chose not to sit in the back of the bus uh, and rather to sit in the front of the bus. So he was arrested, a military arrest, right? And they did what they call a court martial to him. That means they brought charges against him and he had to go to a military court and basically prove he was innocent or guilty. And if he was guilty, he would have been put in prison for a long time um, and thrown out of the military, okay? Now, during his court martial, he had some people that were very high powered lawyers and friends of his talk for him. And they ended up finding him uh, not guilty of what they call insurrection, uh, meaning not following the rules of the army. Okay. So he was honorably discharged from the army, meaning that uh, they did throw him out of the army. Okay. They kicked him out of the army, but. They did it in a way that he could keep all of his benefits and he would still look like he was a good soldier, right? So that was kind of like a win for him and a loss. He got thrown out of the army, but um, they said, you're a good guy anyways, right? We don't want you here, but you're a good guy. So uh, after the army, okay, Jackie Robinson dreamed of still going back to football, okay? And then maybe even playing some baseball because baseball at that time was one of the biggest sports in the world. Okay. Baseball was still bigger than, than football and the people that were playing professional baseball, <coughs> I'm sorry, were seen as superstars. Okay. But the problem is professional sports at that time still only allowed white men to play in the real big leagues. Right. And then people of color were told to play they could play, but they weren't going to play for the same amount of money and they were going to play in a separate league and their equipment wasn't as, as nice and the buildings that, and the arenas that they played in or were just parks, right, where the white players got to play in stadiums, okay? So these are two pictures of professional teams at that time, okay? The one that's on the left is of a whites-only professional baseball team, okay? And the one that's on the right is of a black only professional baseball team, okay? They were in part of the Negro League, okay? Uh, and some of the players in the Negro League were actually better than the white white players, but they would have never been able to get their shot because of the laws at the time that made everybody separate, okay? And made sure that, uh, that sports weren't integrated, okay? So, uh, Jackie Robinson in 1945, he played for the Negro League and his baseball team was called the Kansas City Monarchs, okay? Here's a picture of him in his uniform uh, and he was a star there, okay? And he was such a superstar there that he was, he wasn't the best overall player in the Negro Leagues, right? But he was one of the best players and the thing was, he had the best attitude, right? He really loved life. Uh, he didn't take um, it personal when people would bully him or tease him or anything like that. So uh, one coach from the professional leagues, right, noticed that he had the best attitude out of everybody. And he was a really great player. So he wanted him to come and play for the professional leagues. Now, this coach wasn't racist like a lot of other people, this coach just wanted the best players for his team. He didn't care if it was white, black, whoever, okay? So in 1946, Jackie Robinson signed a contract to play for the Montreal Royals, okay? Which was a minor league team for the Brooklyn Dodgers, meaning the Brooklyn Dodgers is the professional team. They get all the glory, they're making all the money, but the Mo Montreal Royals was the team right below them that kind of has all of their backup players or their players that are 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 getting their skills really sharp so they could end up coming up and playing for the professional team so uh in 1946 when he signed that contract to play for the montreal royals he still wasn't a professional 
baseball player, but he was getting paid, okay? He became one of the best players on the team, and when the coaches of the Dodgers saw him play, they thought they would make he would make a good player on the Dodgers team. So at one game, the Dodgers had to play the Montreal Royals, and the coaches saw that Jackie Robinson was the best player on the field that day. And so they asked him to come and play for the Dodgers. The problem was the world wasn't ready for Jackie Robinson to play for the Dodgers. The world wasn't ready for a black man to play for an all white league. Okay. And so life got really hard, really quick for Jackie Robinson. Uh, his teammates, okay. They didn't want him playing on the same field that they did. Right. They didn't believe he was worth as much as, as they were. They didn't believe he had the same skills as he they did. They didn't believe a black man should be playing on a white field with white players. Okay. So he was forced to put up with a lot of bullying and beatings because of it. His teammates would beat him up uh, and bully him, spit on him, do all sort of nasty stuff to him. Okay. The fans in the stands didn't believe that a black man should be playing with a white team. So they would chant evil things at him, throw things at him, yell at him, scream at him, uh, send him death threats, right? Uh, people threatened to kill his wife and his and his baby at that time, okay? Uh, and even the referees that were supposed to be neutral and, the, and supposed to be the ones taking care of the baseball game, right? They wouldn't referee a game if Jackie Robinson was on the field. Uh, because they didn't believe a black man belonged on the same field as white men, right? So it was Jackie Robinson, even though he was a professional baseball player at the time and signed with the Brooklyn Dodgers, right? The biggest team in baseball at the time. He didn't get to play his first professional game until much later, okay? And it wasn't until he, he, he didn't get to play his first game until April 15th in 1947, okay? He, that year is when he started his official rookie year, right? His first year playing, and he played. He won rookie of the year in 1947, which means that out of all the, the first year players, he was the best first year player. Okay, he played for a total of ten years in Major League Baseball. In 1949, he won the National League Player of the Year, meaning out of his whole league, he was the best player, right? And he was the first black American to be honored with that award. Okay. Jackie Robinson was an all-star for six seasons in a row. That means that of all the players in the in the National Baseball League, right? Uh, that he was amongst the best out of all of them for six years in a row. And he played in six World Series with the Dodgers. Okay. Jackie Robinson was inducted into the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. And the Hall of Fame, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a museum, okay, where they take the best baseball players of all time and they put pictures of them up, they put their uniform up, and they get honored uh, to be in this baseball hall of fame, okay? His uniform number 42 was retired in all of Major League Baseball, never to be worn again by any other player. So Jackie Robinson is the only player to black or white or whoever to ever have their number retired in all of baseball, okay? So you'll never, ever see another player come on a major league baseball field with the number 42 on their jersey because it's been retired forever, and it was retired to honor Jackie Robinson and his accomplishments in major league baseball, okay? Um, this is the reason why Jackie Robinson is an American hero, okay? Jackie, he was born and grew up during a time when being black in America just worked against you. It wasn't easy. It wasn't fun. Nobody had an easy life at that point if you were black or brown. Okay. He had a passion for sports, but he used that passion to finish high school and to get into college and finish college with a degree. Okay. After college, he served in the army and in the army, he fought against the segregation that was going on in there and he was thrown out of the army because of it. Right. He made a stand for something that he believed was right. And when he made that stand, he had to face the consequences. Those consequences were being thrown out of the army. Um, he was the first black man to break the color barrier in Major League Baseball. And the color barrier was mean, it means that 
uh, no blacks were allowed to play Major League Baseball at that time, okay? Where he faced discrimination and hate because he wanted to play baseball like everybody else. So he had a passion for baseball. He didn't feel it was right that everybody else should hate him and discriminate him against him just because he of the color of his skin and he wanted to play baseball, okay? And he ended up one of the best players to ever play the game and was honored for his accomplishments, both as an advocate for equality, okay, and for his skills as a baseball player by retiring his number, the number 42 in all of baseball, okay? So Jackie Robinson was a great man. Jackie Robinson was a great baseball player. Jackie Robinson was a great hero. And Jackie Robinson was an American hero, okay? So that's why we honor him this week in, um, in our little study for Black History Month, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have a good week. Uh, be safe. Wash your hands. Make sure that you're covering your face with your mask when you go out in the streets. And I will talk to you guys again later. Bye.